Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists are developing a new type of drug designed to fight HIV infection in a very novel way. The drugs being developed by scientists at the European Molecular Biology Laboratory, or EMBL, and Heidelberg University Hospital are intended to prevent HIV from changing from its immature form to its mature form. The transition to the mature form is necessary for the virus to spread and infect other cells. In order to become mature, HIV must disassemble and rearrange its components. The new inhibitor drugs prevent this from happening. During their research, the EMBL and Heidelberg team found that HIV that contained a particular genetic mutation was resistant to the inhibitor drugs. But they also discovered how HIV with that mutation was able to remain unaffected by the drugs, which will hopefully enable them to adjust and develop a more effective inhibitor. The study on these new HIV inhibitor drugs is published in the journal Science. Next up, a new study finds that viruses have driven a significant portion of human evolution. Researchers at Stanford University conducted a large-scale analysis of data collected from genomic databases, comparing the evolution of proteins that interact with viruses with that of proteins that don't. The results of the analysis? Adaptations have occurred three times as frequently in virus-interacting proteins as in proteins that don't interact with viruses. Furthermore, the study suggests that viruses have driven 30% of all protein adaptations that have occurred since our ancestral line diverged from that of chimpanzees. This research is important for two reasons. First, it gives us greater insight into how we evolved and the factors that shaped that process. Second, by understanding how viral epidemics of the past affected our ancestors and altered our genome, we can be more prepared to fight current and future outbreaks. This study is published in the journal eLife. And finally, the first images of the Jupiter system taken by NASA's Juno spacecraft have begun to arrive. After an almost five-year journey, the Juno spacecraft reached Jupiter earlier this month. Last week, NASA released the first images taken by Juno's onboard camera. First, let's look at this one, which shows Jupiter in the center, surrounded by four of its moons, Io, Callisto, Europa, and Ganymede. This image was taken by Juno on July 4, just before it entered into orbit around Jupiter. Then there's this image, taken the next day after the spacecraft entered orbit. That's Jupiter to the left, with Io, Europa, and Ganymede to the right. These images are just the beginning. More stunning, high-def views of Jupiter are yet to come, especially when the spacecraft makes its close approaches of the planet to allow its other instruments to probe beneath those famous and mysterious clouds of Jupiter. These images and those yet to come will be available at the Juno Missions website at nasa.gov Juno. New drugs have a novel way of inhibiting the spread of HIV infection. A study reveals the important role played by viruses in human evolution, and NASA's Juno spacecraft sends back its first images of the Jupiter system. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, won't we? Yeah, we sure will.